Well, good morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's midnight. Uh, I woke up before 11 o'clock, but I didn't get out of bed until about 10 minutes to 12. <laughs> um, anyway, the title of the video that I'm recording right now is What Don't You Get? The system is fraud. I still get people trying to convince me that the bank had every right to take my home, that they had the right to move the mortgage from the Merritt Island property to the Thomas Drive property. What is it, folks, that you don't understand? International bankers like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers are criminals. They are thieves and murderers. They are con artists aligned with the most evil entities in the universe. Everything they do is based on lies. When they got rid of the original 13th Amendment, barring bar attorneys from holding any public office, they slowly began eroding our unalienable rights, taking over the education system, the media, and the corporatized pseudo-government agencies created for deception and control. Their money is backed by nothing. In fact, it is debt. Their entire system works on convincing us that we are debtors, when in fact we are, uh, that when in fact they are the debtors. The roles were purposely reversed. As long as I have breath, I will blow the whistle on these bastards that have corrupted this world and turned Earth into a prison planet. I noticed an error here that I've got to fix. Indeed, uh, I, I don't understand why people don't get it. As I said, international banking, this cartel that came into existence, I don't know, I actually don't know when it came into existence. It was actually in existence when the United States was founded. And the, the people that were the rebels, the revolutionaries that created the, the the original United States and broke away from England, broke away from the crown, the king, broke away from the cabal. They were people of foresight and vision, and they realized that as long as you allow the king, which is an artificial construct that, that people think that they have a divine right of leadership or of rulership is, is actually the better word that they have been given this right by by God and this has been passed down through the Vatican it's been passed down through the city of London as we've said and it's been enforced by Washington DC when they took that took over the United States and and corrupted the vision that our forefathers had now the vision wasn't a hundred percent perfect but it was a foundational principle that was very, very perfect, that all men are created equal and are endowed by creator with certain unalienable rights. That are, among these are life, liberty, and the original thing was property. Uh, but then they changed it to pursuit of happiness. But we were, we were allowed to own property. Uh, under the current system, nobody is allowed to own anything. You, you are never secure, even if you have no mortgage. They will figure out a way to attack, especially if you've got a big mouth like I do, they will figure out a way to attach uh, their mortgage to you so that, they can, so that they can mess with you. And we've watched as they've killed people in cold blood, as happened uh, up in Oregon recently, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, and we've watched, if you've been paying attention, this is what this cabal does. And they brainwash people and make them think that they have authority over others. They've, they're doing that with the police department. They're doing that with military. They're, they're absolutely running roughshod over people's human rights that the visionaries that formed the original uh, Declaration of Independence and the Constitution for the United States, uh, and had and, and, and uh, gave us gave us principles that were fantastic principles. 
but they were subverted by bankers again. Banks are criminal institutions. You hear me? Now, I have a very good relationship with my bank. I have a very good relationship with the manager. I've sat in her office sometimes for a half an hour to an hour, just talking, just talking when she doesn't have anything, anybody that's making a claim on her time. Uh, she has given me time many times. Good people. I mean, the tellers, they're good. I, I'm known on a first name basis in my own bank, the B&T. But banks in general, even the B&T, operate on principles that are fraudulent. That again, they create fake money. It's debt instruments. It has, it has no intrinsic value. Uh, and in fact, the, they've taken away, uh, in, under, uh, Roosevelt, they took away the gold standard. They made people, con they convinced people that they had to turn in their gold. And they took the gold standard away from people in the United States. And then, uh, in the 60s, they took away the silver standard so that silver was no longer. And so they've created stuff that has no intrinsic value, and they've made currencies out of it, but it's fraudulent currencies. Folks, we need to wake up. We need to take back our natural rights. We need to understand that banks are not even lawfully allowed to lend what they do not have. But they've been given another privilege. Anything that they do have, they can multiply it times a factor of 10, which was the rule up until, the, I think, the 90s. They changed that rule, and they took the upper limitation off. They could multiply it as many times as they wanted to and could get away with. They never have the legitimate note because I don't know where they put the, the, the original note. But as my bank did in the very beginning, they said that they lost the note. And that we're going to just use a copy. That's counterfeiting, folks. That's not lawful. Uh, but it's what they did. And we're dealing with people that have elevated the very people that were forbidden from holding public office. Bar attorneys, British accredited registry attorneys. They took these people and they, they've taken over the entire country. Now, that doesn't mean that every attorney is a bad person. It doesn't mean that every judge is a bad person. But the system is corrupted. The system is not truthful. The system is dishonest. The system, if you want to get to the highest levels, has no ethical standards. It has no morality. It has nothing that is good, and yet most people don't even get it because the brainwashing has been that thorough. And that's why I continue to blow the whistle on, on the situation and the people that created it. And I do believe that it's demon inspired. It's the worst element in, elements in creation that want, that are, that want to dominate and control and, and no law means anything to them. They consider themselves above the law. But, uh, and where nobody is above the law. There is a law that says what you do unto others, that's how you are saying that you want to be treated. And as they treat others wantonly and with disregard for our natural rights, ultimately they need to be treated exactly that way. I'm talking about the people at the highest level. Now, there's many people that can be forgiven, and hopefully most will be forgiven. Most will open their eyes and see the light, and come home and say, look at, I don't want to be part of this anymore. And we'll be able to establish a, a system based on truth and based on real justice and based on, on something that is substantial and true, namely that we were all created in the image of God with unalienable rights. And that goes back to creation. It has nothing to do with any uh, system of government or any system of commerce that has been created in this uh, past millenniums, and I don't know how many. But thank you for listening, and I'm going to stay.